Hi, welcome back to the Cheshire TV show with Ian and Alex Story. This week we're in Tarpley. And this week we've got all of our usual property bits and pieces, including bike let deals, fresh to market, and just sold, and a lifestyle feature. And we're going to meet Mary from this fantastic homeware shop, Bale on Tarpley High Street. We hope you enjoy the show. about today and I've found another good buy to let deal for your portfolios. The property behind me here is on Verdin Street and I'm in between Rudheath and Northwich. Now the house behind me is two bedrooms, does need modernising and it's on the market with Bridgefords for offers over 95,000. So assuming you'll spend around 10,000 pounds putting a new kitchen and bathroom in, the property is going to be then very rentable for around 575 uh, sorry, 575 pounds per month. Now, this is going to generate you a yield of 6.3%. Good, healthy yield, and it will rent easily because you can walk into Northwich Town Centre from here. I'll put the right move link in the comments below, but please do take a look. This could be another good property for your portfolios. Hi guys, we're here with Mary from Bale Home in Tarpoli. Mary, it's nice to meet you. Hi. So we're in your lovely shop here today. Can you tell us a bit more about the shop? When did you open? Well, we opened nearly two years ago. Okay. Um, I run it with my mum. Lovely. And uh, we're a mixture of homewares and gifts. Okay. So do you want to tell a bit more about Tarpoli? Do you live locally? Um, well, I've grown up in Tarpoli. Yeah. My mum still lives on the road opposite the shop. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've we've been very much involved in Tarpoli life for a long time. Oh, that's lovely. It's nice because everyone supports each other, and there's lots of uh, local initiatives that go on that, yeah, that's that we're involved in. So yeah, yeah. A lot, I suppose a lot of towns and villages these days don't really have as much independent shops, do they? No, not like at all. Like this, where every, every unit seems full, I think, at the minute, or maybe um, one or two. Pretty much or, every unit's yeah. full, everything's an independent bar, the co-op, mm -hmm. um, yeah. and uh, the garage. But yeah. everything else, from bars um, and boutiques, everything yeah. is, is an independent store, and it, a lot of shops are family businesses. Um, yeah. Lots are run by women, um, yeah, okay. so and the, the, you know everyone supports everyone. Everyone works together, so it's a really really nice place to be. Yeah. Looks like there's a few new things as well up there. There was a is that a new restaurant or the tasting room? Or the something? tasting rooms. That's yeah. a new one. Um, and there's a new ladies' dress shop that's opening in September. Um, so there's a, a lot of new things in Tarpley. Yeah. Good. While we were walking down outside, I think Alex has already moved here. We've already moved here, yeah. basically. <laughs> I'll be on right really shortly. Says that. <laughs> Everybody says that. Any visitors to the village, they say, oh, I'm moving here. Yeah. I can't wait. I love it. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it does. So you've got a lovely range of things. Uh, I didn't really realise that it, the, the shop goes through into the, to the other side as well. It does. We yeah. just opened that about six months ago. Okay. Um, to expand because, your range. Yeah. yeah. And also we wanted to go into more sort of furniture pieces. Okay. We started off with a few accessories, some gift items, but now we do chairs, tables, coffee tables, okay. um, lots of quirky little bits, but we needed more space. More space, <laughs> Where yeah. do you source your items from then? All over. We search far and wide because we want to find stuff that's totally different, mm -hmm. totally unique, not stuff that you'll just get in a great big yeah. department store. It has to be sort of individually sourced mm -hmm. and um, our ethos is if we would have it in our home, then um, we'd have it in the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which isn't probably the best way to approach retail, but it, you know, well, that's it's our. Working. Yeah. It's working for us. Yeah. So. yeah. I mean, I can see behind us here. There's all these skincare products and men's shaving, and I didn't realise that you had all that, you know, going on yeah. as well as the home care. Lots of nice gifty items, nice yeah. skincare. Our ethos is very much on the sort of um, earthy, natural vibe yes so we have lots of organic skincare products um you know lots of wool lots of raw metals lots of wood lots of stone yeah. um we just like anything that's very natural yeah. so any plans for the future for the shop in the short term um we're involved in lots of local initiatives so we have a tarpley festival a tarpley carnival a tarpley light switch on at christmas um so we're very much involved in that mm -hmm. um in the long term um, we are working more and more with suppliers who focus on sustainability and fair trade. 
and we are stocking skincare brands now that um, are doing refills so we can reduce the amount of plastic that okay. we're bringing into the shop. Okay. So, yeah. so we hope you enjoyed that uh, interview guys. Now it's time for Fresh to Market. Are you looking for a family home in Hartford? This house behind me here has recently come onto the market with Williams. Now, this is a four bedroom family home and it is chain free, which is really good news if you are also a chain free buyer. There should be no complications. It's modernized, it's on the popular Mornant Avenue development, so you can walk to uh, the main Hartford railway station within five minutes from here. I'll put the right move link in the comments below so that you can take a look for yourselves, but I definitely recommend you have a look and maybe request a viewing with Williams. It's a fantastic looking house. Hi there, welcome back. We hope you agree with us that that's a fantastic new listing in Cheshire. Now it's time for our lifestyle feature. Hi, I'm Paul Connor, and it's time to get fit with MPA Fitness. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm back here with Paul from MPA Fitness in Northwich and today Paul's going to show me how to slam a slam ball. Okay, the slam ball, I love this piece of equipment especially for having this at home. It is a big docile daft heavy ball that is just great fun to play with and relatively inexpensive. We've got this one at 20 kilograms here, um, we can get them up to uh, 70 kilograms that I know and it's just a heavy object that we can carry, throw, smash, toss, chuck around and it's a great piece of kit. Okay, fantastic. And how much do you reckon these will sort of set you back then? Yeah, yeah I think um, for, <coughs> you know, perhaps w we start around 15 kilograms going up to 70 kilograms. So I think the beginning around about 25 pounds, you know, okay. really inexpensive piece of quit. A piece of kit, a lot better use than uh, than spending hundreds of pounds on treadmills and cross trainers. Okay, and can you sort of give okay, us weight? Um, I, th I think probably if you're new to fitness, maybe start off with kind of a 15 kilogram slam ball. Okay, uh, 15 or 20 kilograms, and then you can add to your collection um, for less than a price of a good night out. You can build up to a 30, 40, 50 kilogram slam ball that you can use as well. Great, fantastic. All right, so this exercise. Probably not best performed on your nice floors in the house, but if you take it outside onto the grass or onto the street, we can just bury this slam ball in the floor with aggressive force. Okay. And that's the one. So, okay. we're looking to really put a hole in the floor with this. That's what it's about. Gosh, Slam it's heavy. as hard as you can. It's heavy to begin with. So, we're up and power down. Collect. Try and keep your feet still at the bottom. That's the one. Get it through. Go another three of these. One. Great. Up we come. Nice. One more. And there we go. All right. Okay. Good effort. So that was slamming a slam ball. Keep checking back for future fitness tips. Thanks everyone for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please like and share. Next week, please tune in. We're going to be in Hartford and we'll meet Alistair from Evergreen Cheshire Limited.